Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube Medium and uh, DanielRosal.tech. So hopefully the final installation in the uh, Linux uh, backup series, backing up uh, Linux in various ways to Synology, network adapt storage, slash NAS device. Um, so what we're going to be doing in this particular backup is doing a, a disk cloning, a full disk cloning to the NES and doing that over um, over doing that over SSH. So let me just explain the process because uh, it took me a few times to get it to work and uh, I've done Clonezilla many many times to a local uh, device and this was the first time doing it over the local area network over an SSH. So basically I'm just going to get into my uh, Clonezilla first of all, this, uh, this part of it is fairly self-explanatory. Get through the initial screens as you do typically. Uh, just give it a second, it's a little bit on the slow side. Now, the first thing to, to say is that um, with, uh, with Clonezilla, uh, sorry, with Synology, um, the port uh, SSH is not open by default, at least it wasn't on my one, on DSM, so I needed to go ahead and enable uh, the SSH service over port 22. I also needed to enable rsync. None of this stuff was uh, uh, worked, let's say, out of the box. Um, so I needed to go ahead and do that first. Now this is going to be a disk image, unlike what we looked at previously with rsync and all those which, was, which were file-based uh, systems. Disk imaging is also often called uh, bare metal. So you know we're just literally copying the hard drive onto the hard drive. Okay, so going through the first stages is pretty as one does typically in Clonezilla. Just zoom in a tiny bit more. And what we're going to be doing now, I'm going to be going for a uh, device to image is usually the strategy I use here. Uh, you can do device to device, but uh, typically typically for, for backups, device to image is preferable. Okay, so basically this is, the, this is where the familiar process was new for me. So I'm used to doing the... Uh, backups onto the first option to a local device. I have a SSD in my computer just for Clonezilla. It's dedicated just for that purpose and uh, it makes it easy for me to, to do this. I just have to back up SDAA onto SDAB and uh, it also gives me a little bit of disk failure redundancy because uh, you know it's not it's on different storage media. Uh, however in this instance let me just say firstly what else there is. SSH is what we're going for. You can also do this over Samba, LFS, WebDAV, and you can also do this to a remote uh, S3 server up in the cloud, but I'm doing SSH. So what it's doing now, I need to just tilt this down a bit so you can see it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's probing the network interfaces on my computer. You can see it's taking a look for F0 and WLAN0. F0 is uh, Ethernet, WLAN0 is the Wi-Fi card. So uh, the latter part is kind of a bit pointless because uh, the NAS is attached to Ethernet as it usually is, and um, but it does need to just go through this kind of network discovery process. So just leave that run for a few seconds. I'm just going to move up, and uh, we'll just wait for the next part of the journey to begin. You just have to always be careful with uh, Clonezilla that you don't do anything crazy because the potential for what can go wrong when you run this tool is pretty significant. You could uh, literally wipe, you know, if you got the source and destination mixed up, mixed up, you would completely wipe out, format, in fact, a uh, your drive. So I always go through this kind of slowly, methodically. This part's easy though, just, yeah, we're going to be using Ethernet. It's giving us our MAC address, uh, DHCP, yes. Uh, okay, here's the first stage in the SSH process. It needs to know you just what the device, the local network device of your um, NAS is. And you can see here, mount SSH file system. So um, this is gonna actually mount it. Uh, port to connect to 22. So that was a default when I set up SSH on the NAS. Typically that's what you'll have as well. Root, account in server. Um, so I created an account called demo and let's see if this works. Here's the bit that I had to, uh, I had to actually, um, that threw me off and why I failed in this endeavor a few times. So basically at this stage it's asking, I'm just gonna read out what it says, the directory where Clonezilla image will be saved to or read from. 
use absolute path and SSH server, e.g. home part image, that's populated by default. And um, when I'm doing this on uh, SDB, a local device, I never change this and it always works. Um, I set the uh, I set the the image name and that home part image uh, comes back to just the root of the server. However, when I tried it over SSH, that that was not the case. It needed to be an actual resource that exists on the SSH server. So I created a uh, share on it called Clonezilla, just so because I'm trying out a few different backup approaches, I want them all to have their own one, so it's easy to see what's going where. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it. I literally, the path I've set here is forward slash clonezilla. Now I'm using I'm using an actual video camera for this because I'm not doing this on a virtual machine. It's a real, you're looking at a real computer job in progress. Um, so forward slash clonezilla and uh, clonezilla is just the name of the volume share I created for this. So it really exists. Done. And you can see, now look, I'll just zoom in one more time. So just to, see how this works. Username, IP address, forward slash clonezilla. So that's the path. And you cannot, if you're gonna do whatever it was, home part image, that's gonna fail because it's gonna, it's gonna throw, it'll, it, it, you won't be able to do the backup because it'll see that there is no home part image on the, on this, on the SSH server. So I'm gonna okay that. And uh, this is the first sign of success is when you get this, uh, when you're prompted to just accept uh, the key fingerprint so you know that it has made a connection with something on the network as you can see over there uh, so I'm going to just type in yes to that uh, and now I will just quickly here enter the password for this account and it's a real account that I set up in DSM ah yes so this is the uh, this is what I call the glory screen when you get to this you know that you're in business basically um, so you can see it says the file system it is correct uh, it's picked up demo at my uh, at my NAS uh, clonezilla. It's mounted that with under a fuse mount on SSHFS. The size is correct. The use space is correct. I'm almost done. I've just set this up quickly with one SSD, and I need to I need to go out now and buy a couple of uh, hard drives to give myself more space. Uh, it's correct. There's only 20, 20 megs available, and the target the target's home part image. So don't ask me exactly how that works, uh, but uh, this will work. This will save in the volume called Clonezilla. And of course, you could call it whatever you want, but uh, that's it. Enter to continue. Um, beginner mode is generally more than enough. Uh, save local disk, disk to disk. You can do save partitions um, as an image, but as I said, disk is usually what you want. So this is really kind of the standard clonezilla. There's nothing really remarkable from this point onwards. Uh, it's the same as if you're doing it just your local computer. I tend to call mine today's 21st, 210620. Um, I always just kind of, maybe this is this is just me, but I always uh, write the name of the computer. So this is just my desktop. So I'm putting in here desktop and then the date. Uh, okay to that. And uh, now we're creating our source, and for me the source is uh, SDA, that's the Linux, uh, SDB is actually the Clonezilla one in my computer, SDC is another one, so SDA is what I want to back up. Uh, I'm going to do a skip check in the file system, I'm going to skip check in the image, I'm not going to bother with encryption, I'm just going to do this one quickly, and then shut down when I'm done. Uh, enter to continue, and I'll finally just, you get this confirmation menu at the end just to make sure, and this is really your... Last chance saloon, make sure what you've done whenever you're, re whenever you're using Clonezilla, make absolute sure that you have your source and destination correct. Because as I said, the other chance is you will be uh, scurrying for whatever backup you previously did with Clonezilla and pulling out power cords and all that kind of nonsense. So just make sure that uh, you have set everything up right, click yes, and uh, now you're in business. The uh, backup is running and uh, you know, with Clonezilla, uh, you can expect this to take in the region of uh, give or take uh, 16, 16, 15 minutes. Might be a little bit slower when you're doing this over SSH as opposed to doing it directly uh, within the machine. Um, but um, I have just done one. I verified on DSM that the 
that are created so I can I can uh, confirm to you that this process is uh, works and uh, creates a disk image directly from your desktop onto your NES on the network. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it's been of some use to somebody out there on the internet. And uh, if you would like to get in touch, my email address is, uh, sorry, my website is danielrosehill, rosehill with two L's, .co .al. Thank you for watching.